Hi guys, Rian here. I hope you guys are enjoying the Windbloom Festival because I certainly am. Today, I would like to share some tips and tricks but not really a guide that will help you in the mini games for the events. As of day 1 of Windbloom Festival, we have 3 main quest lines that is happening. The first branch will be festive anecdotes that is basically just story quests and running around helping people in Mondstadt. As of day 1, we can complete 3 quests and it's very straightforward. The second branch is festive challenges. There are 3 separate challenges under this quest branch. The first will be Bullseye Balloon, where the NPC will take you to Stormbearer's Point for an archery contest. As of day 1, the challenge is called Tower Waltz, and your goal is to reach above 2600 points to beat Venti and get the highest reward. I think this challenge is quite easy because you are always given a lot of time, but the challenge may get harder as the days go by. There are 4 types of balloons. The most basic green balloon gives 24 to 30 points each, depending if you have a combo or not. The second balloon which is the orange balloon gives around 100 to 150 points depending if you have a combo or not. This is why maintaining a combo is very important to get a higher score. The third balloon which is the orange balloon with a heart does not give any points but creates an explosion around it, which will help you hit more green and orange balloons. The last balloon which is the red balloon with a broken heart will minus your points by 50 and break your combo, so try not to hit the red balloon if possible. One tip I would suggest is for you to climb to the top of the tower before you start shooting. This will give you a 360 degree advantage without getting blocked. Another strategy is to use Ganyu with her AoE Frost Flake Arrow. I know this is pay to win, but if you have her, she will give you an advantage. Just make sure there is no red balloons around. The second challenge is Floral Freefall. The goal of day 1 is to get 3000 points and beat Amber to get the most rewards. I tried using Xiao for this challenge but his skill has been disabled. Pay to win has no air superiority here. Basically, to get points, you will need to collect green ops and flowers. The green ops will give 35 points each while the flower gives 200 points. When you are about to reach the bottom, make sure you land on the garland. The garland alone gives 400 points and is the most important thing to collect. Not much else tips and tricks for this challenge. The third game is called Ballad of Breeze and is basically a rhythm game like Osu. There are 3 different modes which get significantly harder. You also need to complete the normal mode before you unlock the hard mode and complete hard mode before the pro mode unlocks. To get all the rewards, you will need to score 1800 points on pro mode to beat Venti. Out of all the challenges, this is the hardest for me. What I find annoying is the background music doesn't actually match the speed of the mini game. Maybe this is just me. I believe you guys can do better. As for the final quest branch, we have Peculiar Wonderland that is a set of mini games that will be generated at random. As of day 1, you will be given 3 out of these 5 challenges to complete. Upon completing, you will be faced with a Pyro Regisvine boss fight, so be sure to bring a Hydro character. Let's go through each minigame and I will share with you some tips and tricks that have worked or failed. The first minigame is called One Way Traffic and what you need to do is memorize the path shown and follow the path to the finish line. There are also hidden flowers that you can collect for more points. To complete the mini game, you actually have to step on every platform and are not allowed to skip it. I tried using Xiao and Keqing to dash to the finish line, but this cheat did not work and I was forced to complete the quest properly. One tip you can do for this quest is to jump constantly if you forgot the location of the hidden flowers. You do not need Venti for this, a regular jump from your character will allow you to pick it up. The second minigame is the Great Bubble Crash. This game is the easiest out of all the games. All you need to do is avoid the bubbles and pick the flowers. 
I don't think you need more explanation for this. The third minigame is Barrage Minuet. For this game, you will need to dodge everything coming your way while picking up flowers. There will be red waves, purple waves and bombs that you will need to avoid, so pay attention. Do not use Venti and try to fly for this stage. The bombs will spawn on you and you will get hit. As you are approaching the end, you will need to jump over these pulses to avoid it. For this part, you can actually use Venti to stay in the air. The bombs do not spawn at this stage. The fourth challenge is called Stepping Stone Antics. Basically 4 guys where you need to stand on platforms that are not shaking until the time runs out. I do not recommend using Venti here because he seems to get knocked out of the sky for some reason. I think there is a barrier if you fly too high. Instead, you can actually cheat with Keqing. I managed to cheat with Keqing quite consistently as her cooldown is much shorter than Venti's whole E. I know this is all pay to win strategies but deal with it. Alternatively, you can use Joe Traveler to make a platform and stand on the edge until the time runs out. You will need to manage your cooldowns and also be careful of hitting the skybox when you are too high, similar to Venti. The fifth challenge which is the challenge I always get on the final wave is the Windbloom Blessing. Basically, you will need to pick up 15 white flowers in order to complete the challenge. However, the flowers may change colour as it approaches the ground, so be careful. One way to bypass this is to pick the flowers in mid-air with Venti or Keqing. Because the flowers only change colour right before it touches the ground, you can safely pick the white flowers in mid-air. But if you think this is too much work, then just pick the ones on the ground. Once you are done with 3 challenges, you will enter a boss room. The points you collected from picking extra flowers will be converted into buffs for the boss fight. But the most important tip is just to bring a Hydro character to break the Pyro Regisfine's shield. DPS doesn't seem to be a problem at least for day 1. This about summarizes the new events of Windbloom Festival. Once you completed all the events for today, you can redeem a bunch of prizes in the event shop. As of today, I was able to get the Windbloom Ode, a free 4-star bow from the event shop. I could also unlock one of the materials to raise the refinement of this weapon. The other refinement materials are still not available yet in the shop. You are also able to get a 1.5x EXP bonus from upgrading the weapon throughout the Windbloom Festival. So I suggest upgrading this weapon first to save your materials in the long run. I hope these tips and tricks has helped some of you in the event. 
I'm guessing the challenge will only get harder and harder as levels get unlocked. So stay tuned for more tips. Like and subscribe for more Genshin content.